What you see is a jet flying extremely close to the U.S. drone. It appears to be dumping fuel as it goes, as the Americans said had happened. Then you see a second pass or another pass um, where the camera then cuts out briefly on the U.S. drone. That's the moment uh, that the U.S. military says that the Russian jet hit uh, the drone. And when the camera comes back, you can see at the back that one of the blades on the propeller is damaged. Now, it's at that moment that the US says that it made the decision to bring down uh, the drone, to bring it down into the Black Sea. They say they've released this because Russia, as you know, has a a different narrative of events. Russia says um, that the US drone crashed because of the sharp manoeuvres it was making. Uh, The Pentagon spokesman saying uh, that this shows that their narratives are false. Uh, The White House spokesman John Kirby put it even stronger saying uh, it shows the Russians are flat out lying. Uh, I haven't seen a response as yet from Russia specifically to the vision. We did uh, hear reports that Russia was trying to get near the debris of this US drone. Again, from the briefings we've heard here in Washington today, it seems as if the US has has given up on that endeavour. But the US again insisting that despite this incident, it will continue to fly in that airspace and insisting this is international airspace, not, as the Russians say, uh, Russian airspace.